Hello and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Squirrel Lord, speaking. And today, I'm getting the ERT missions back. We are opening the Torpedo Burrito Delivery Service. Back in business, baby. I need to make that money. I need to deliver some explosive uh, burritos for customers. Hopefully I can get 100% satisfaction. And make that space, make the space bucks. And have fun. All right, so. Yesterday as I finished up, I finished up the VHRT mission. I should now have a ERT mission available as soon as I log in. We'll grab the Eclipse and get to blasting. Hope everyone is having a wonderful afternoon. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. There we go. Honestly, I've done that event so many times. Kind of getting burnout. I might do it later in the stream. We'll see. But let's grab. Do I have enough money to request that mission? There we go. Uh, nope, not yet. I guess I've got to go make a couple kills. Alright. Looks like we are taken out all the arms. Let's do it. Okay. As I get the money, which I think after this mission I'll have it, we'll switch out to the Eclipse and start that burrito delivery service. It'll be great. Alright. I had over 20k last night when I logged off, but CIG and their infinite wisdom keeps thinking they're making a mistake. They keep taking my money. I'm not going to lie, this is rather annoying. I want to start my burrito delivery service, please. So let's go deliver some burritos. Good grief, people. <laughs> Welcome to the Why do I sense I'm going to have a little bit of a scrap? as soon as I leave the station. Tahui, thanks for dropping by. So I gotta drop this uh, one mission, get it done, and I can start serving up the hot and spicy torpedoes to those hammerheads. So, let's do that. All right, he's about a moon over. I'm thinking that guy's around Daymar. So let's take the fighter out, get the kill, come back, switch up for the Eclipse, and start blasting away. I love this. It opens up like a beak. This has got to be one of the funner alien ships. All right. Thanks for attacking your name. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to. Is it Tahui? Am I pronouncing it even remotely correctly? Uh. I'm not. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Speaking of burritos. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Tahui. 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 So sorry. So classless today. Hmm. Oh, 
This is a new face. Oh my, yes. I guess the game is watch me mispronounce everyone's name. And I am really gonna mess up your name if I try it. And I apologize in advance, but thank you for... I know. So let's go back. Oh, there we go. I called it. Hostile players already. Looks like we might get some PvP. All right. That's always fun. All right. We're locked and loaded. Got a red player in the area already. I kind of like the fact that now there's more players. Do you play game Nick Mock? I don't even know what that is. And you don't need to ask more than once. our target. This should be uh, quick. Alright. Let's take this target out and go get the Eclipse. Start that delivery service. How many GB in this game? What is GB? Oh. Rattlers ready. There we go. Oh, gigabytes. Okay. Uh, 16 minimum for RAM. As far as memory, you should use a solid state drive if you want to run this game. And it's like a minimum of, uh, I think it's up to 80 now. I think it's up to 80. When I got into it, it was 60-something. Uh, now it's 80-something. Oh, it better be a high-end laptop if you ever hope to play this game. This game will melt your graphics card and your processor. You need a solid-state drive, a good processor, and a good graphics card. That's what you need in order to run this bad boy. Speaking of bad boy. Let's give him the rattler treatment. Alright, time for the guns. Oh, thank you for the warning. That's so nice of you. low to the ground. Hello! Let's have a little fun. Let's take out his friends. Alright, shields at max. Oh, now I've got the money to accept the mission, so let's probably head back, grab my Eclipse, and let's start that burrito delivery service. Ah. 
Yella, y'all only live once. Yeah. Oh, now we're gonna get the big booms. This is the fun part. All right, shields at max. Let's recharge the uh, boost. We've got a red player around Grim Hex. This is the Star Citizen I know, so there's, it's dangerous to play this game, especially with this many other players. <laughs> We're hoping for a big boom. All right. There we go. Good old Grim Hex, my home away from home. A hive of scum and villainy and squirrels. Okay, let's uh, let some things render in first before I get carried away. Don't want to crash into something that hasn't rendered in yet. Ah, there it is. Okay, now we're golden. Now I can see Grim Hex. Yep, we've got players already picking fights in Grim Hex. This is fun. <laughs> All right. There we go, a red player. Cannot lock target in Armistice Zone. Oh, it's, he's in a Scorpius. Oh, that's cool. That's the uh, direct competitor to the Hurricane. And it's a good looking ship. But if I had to choose between the Scorpius or the Hurricane, I have to admit I would go for the Hurricane. I just like that one more. Even though the Scorpius is a gorgeous ship. I just, I'm more effective in the Hurricane. It's not that one ship is better than the other, I'm just more effective in one. Simple as that. Now, where is the landing bay? There we go, there it is. Oh, we got some red players. More than one. Very nice. Okay. Keep your head on a swivel at Grim Hex. I can't tell you the number of times I've been jumped here. <laughs> I, I've lost count. Number of times I've been attacked here. Come on. Oh uh, no, you lose time, not money. And now, try that again. There we go. Let's go get that mission. Let's go get the eclipse. That was easy peasy. Alright, always. Enrique, how you doing? Well, thanks for dropping by, Enrique. You're always welcome here. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go get that eclipse and let's get to bombing, blowing things sky high. Yeah. Here's the Talon. It's going to close like a beak. All right. We'll put this ship away. We'll grab the Eclipse. Make things go boom. That'll make my day. I'm easily amused. Okay. 
Okay. Area store. Good. Eclipse is queued up. Let's grab the mission. Oof, just enough. Just enough to grab the mission. Okay. There she is. Yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Kaboom time! All right, Eclipse, let's go. All right. Now, number one. Yeah. Okay. Here's the Stealth Bomber. This is one of my favorite ships. It's a bit of a one-trick pony. If for hitting bigger, slower ships with torpedoes and deleting them from existence. It's not much of a dogfighter. It would be a terrible idea to try to dogfight in this ship. Absolutely terrible idea. Let's try to get those higher quality torpedoes down the line. There we go. Alright. To Daymar we go. Yeah. <laughs> Time to make boom boom. To make things go boom boom. Well, this ship is good for uh, dropping bombs on uh, capital ships and sub capital ships. It's not good to go up against uh, fighters. This is strictly a bomber. So that's what this ship is. Like. Oh, there we go. The players are going at it, they are fighting each other at Grim Hex. So I should probably stay out of that crossfire because this ship is not built for dogfighting at all. <laughs> all right. So I should just go my merry little way. There's not much stopping people from blasting each other to space dust in this game. You can PvP, you can PvE. The world is your oyster. Now. Time to start that torpedo delivery service. And I will activate the uh, missile camera. Give you a bit of a show. Excellent. It should be on the daytime side of the planet, so we should have a clear view of what's going on. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me. I'm absolutely gosh awful with pronouncing words and names. So, let's go blow stuff up. It's time for that. Yep, yeah, going to make some big boom booms. So this ship can only carry three uh, torpedoes at a time because they are really big torpedoes. Like I said, these are anti-capital ship torpedoes. Some people would call it overkill. I call it just right. We go. Actually, let's go in low to the ground. Let's 
That way I can pull up rapidly. And I've got a uh, security forces on my six. Two of them, in fact. Those are uh, space cops on my tail. All right. Thanks. I wanted to go with something a little more upbeat. I usually go with uh, industrial synthwave, dark synthwave, but I wanted to have something a little more bouncy. Where is the big one? There it is. Maximum speed reached. Got a maximum lock. Prepare to fire. Three, two, one. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, maximum power to engine. Let's get out of dodge. Because I cannot contend with fighters in this ship. All right. Give it about a minute. ERTs. It should populate quick. I could also do that in the meantime while I wait. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you explode or does the game force you to stop? Mm. No. You want to... You want to fly in such a way you can pull up and out of the area quickly. And this ship has a bit of a struggle pulling out. It's got a good uh, straight line speed. There we go, another customer. Hold on. Come on, I know I got the contract. There it is. There. Oh, they're NPCs. Sorry, I did not understand your question. But you can definitely uh, torment real players with this ship. Since it's a stealth bomber, it's got a very low signature on the radar. So you can really troll people with this ship if you want. Just don't buy it with real world money. Earn it in game. It's 3.5 million in game, and it's worth every single penny. You can buy it at the uh, shop at uh, Lorville and Hurston. Oh. Well, that makes it easy for me. It's out in orbit. I'll have a nice clear shot at this. Okay, so the beeping is kind of a glitch in the game. It's an audio glitch. It's still hearing the lock from the uh, missiles from the last encounter. I don't have any missiles firing at me at the moment. It's just kind of a glitch. All right. So maximum power to the engines. You want to go in, drop the uh, drop the bomb, and get out of there. All right. I want to go by as few asteroids as possible. Alright, torpedoes armed. This should be a good angle right here. Perfect attack angle. Alright. 
Alright, here we go. Starting the attack run. There's my prime target. Now, you want to wait till you're close to actually fire the torpedo so they can't use their countermeasures to get away from it. I usually fight, fire around uh, four kilometers or less. There we go. Torpedo away. Maximum burn. And watch that torpedo. Boom! Deleted. Okay, I got one more torpedo left in this uh, ship. I'm showing you the perfect execution for the bomb run. So you want to make sure you have a good escape route. Oh, another one out in the asteroids. That makes it easy for me. Where are you? All right, you're on the other side of the globe. I'll just head to OM2, which is on the south pole. This is how you get uh, really good money. So, if you like to just delete things from existence and make maximum money and have a big boom, work on all the bounty honey missions until you get to the ERT missions, buy yourself an Eclipse Bomber, and just practice this attack run. It does get. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just walking. That's a good angle to get past the asteroids. Right here is a perfect approach angle. I could just dart straight through here. Nice and smooth. Minimal risk of hitting an asteroid. All right, one torpedo left, and I have to go reload. All right, let's... Oh. No. Nope. Hammerhead. That's, that's the target. Oh, I came in too fast. Way too fast. Oh, well. Let's get out of dodge. Got him. Now. Let's get out of dodge real quick. We'll go reload. Go get some more. Woo. I didn't get a single scratch on my ship. Now, my home away from home. <laughs> this place is so dangerous to go to, but that's half the fun. I have met my match more than once in this place. I've ran into some real PvPers at this place, so be careful when you go to Grim Hex. Okay, looks like he's just minding his business. But an Eclipse is a very tempting target. So, I better uh, land as quick as I can. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's some real pros on this game. You have people from all skill levels, from the very uh, beginners to some real... Uh, God tier players. I am just average at best. I'm just here to have fun, get a little bit better every day, and just enjoy. And it looks like somebody's got a missile lock on me. Yeah. I've actually fought some of those God tier players. 
Oh, they are scary in this game, man. Because this is an MMO that's supposed to be skill-based, not... I mean, yeah, there are ships that are objectively better than other ships, but skill is the great equalizer in this game. Any ship can kill any other ship in the game. It's all a matter of skill. And you gotta be careful. Okay. And you can't afford to be cocky in this environment. Otherwise, you'll get shredded. It looks like I'm being targeted. Uh, I'm being watched and targeted by another player. being watched like a hawk. There we go. Oh, even the pros get kaboomed. Everybody gets kaboomed in this game. People with insane level of skill and uh, beginners. Everybody's equally kaboomable. Honestly, I've lost count as to how many times I've been kaboomed. I haven't even bothered counting. It's all about having fun and learning and just trying to be better today than you were yesterday. That's all there is to it. It's all about having fun. As all games should be, honestly. Alright. I'm going to face outward just a little bit. That'll do just fine right there. Another. <laughs> it's all good. Doesn't matter if you're good or bad. In a game like this, you're really just competing against yourself and how good you were yesterday, and you're just trying to get better. Just a tiny bit every day. It's all about having fun. Okay. Ooh, and he's close. So, four of these missions will get me 100k. And I can knock him out very quickly. Okay. And open the bay doors, my good sir. Let's get going. Oh, uh, no, you don't lose your ships, but you have to request to respawn the ships, and you have to wait. The bigger and more expensive the ship, the longer the wait time. Once you uh, purchase a ship in-game, you have it until it gets wiped. So... I can die a thousand times in this ship, and I'll still have it. I just have to wait for the timer for it to respawn. So, and what's better is it also comes uh, back with the fancy expensive parts you've purchased, like all the aftermarket parts. Because, you know, each ship has the default parts. Oh, bread! Uh, they must have also given you those good painkillers. You're probably feeling good right now, don't you? Wisdom teeth, I'm guessing. Alright, so yeah. If you come to this area, just be ready for a fight. And don't take it personally if you get wrecked. It's just how this game goes. The uh, culture here in... Uh, Star Citizen do not like what's called a Care Bear. Those are the people who whine and complain about PvP aspects of the game. Oh. Well, I hope you have a wonderful and speedy recovery. I hope the pain is minimized. Because having teeth pulled are no fun. I've had four of them pulled at the same time once, but that was wisdom teeth, so I don't know if I count that or not. 
They gave me a lot of good drugs. I was so loopy that day. I was comically loopy. Alright, I hope you feel better soon. And it's important to take care of your teeth. So... Oh, you're liking the music, huh? Yeah, normally, I like a uh, royalty-free uh, playlist called White Bat Audio, but I went with something else today. Just a little more bounce, a little more upbeat. Nope, that's not my prime target. Nope, that's a warden. Looking for the hammerhead. There he is! Hello, Hammerhead. Bear's looking at you, kid. Okay, I fired the torpedo much further than I normally do. I usually pass by close and drop it in at 4,000 uh, meters. Hopefully I didn't shoot myself in the foot. Yep, got the kill. So... I do not want to deal with the heavy fighters. Time to uh, make myself scarce. Because this is a bomber, not a fighter. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Gotcha! Oh, uh, where is he? Piston, huh? Oh, how interesting. Planet side target this time. That'll be fun. That's the closest frame of reference location. So now... There we go. Let's get a move on. 36 kilometers out. So the eclipse is pretty fast, but not super fast. Light fighters can overtake you, and they can catch up to you. So, you got to be careful about that. All right, there we go. And let's get that camera ready for funsies. Come on. There's the target. All right. Once I have a full lock, I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to drop the missile. In range. And dropping the bomb. Now. Oh, that wasn't a very big explosion. That was anticlimactic. Wanted a bigger explosion than that. Oh well. So I'm going to use all of this money that you can make very quickly to buy all the fancy schmancy parts 
for all the ships I do have. Uh, I've been playing since November last year, but I've been watching this game for years. I just didn't have a computer that could run it. This uh, game is very demanding on the computer. So, I mean, you, I started streaming on YouTube during the same week I got this game. So just under a year. Just under a year. Okay. We are kabooming. I could also run a uh, bunker or two. Like I can raid SPK in just my flight suit and helmet run and... Why the sad face? I'll tell you what. I'll make this target go kaboom. Then I will go merc people in SPK. And is there any particular beautiful sights you'd like to see in this game? Oh, this is perfect. This is my last torpedo. You went boom. Oh no. Okay, better slow down a bit. Don't want to come in too hot. Still need to get that full target lock. the hurricane. There's the primary target. There we go. Good night. The torpedo did not hit. All right. <laughs> All righty. I'll show you a boom. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> I aim to please. I'm just here for the fun. I am going to make uh, tips and how-to videos down the road. Oh, he survived it. Well, well. Why, thank you. He survived it. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not even mad. Because uh, his ship is ginormous. <laughs> and my ship is small. I was like a bug on a windshield. 
still. Let's call in the eclipse. It'll be here in 15 and a half minutes. <laughs> uh, so much fun. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to grab a different mission altogether. And let's take out the cutty. <laughs> All right, let's gear up. Let's go to SPK. That's some good and fun money. So we'll drop this mission. All right, so I'll go ahead and drop that mission. Mercenary. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my poor uh, pilot, she does not look happy about that, what I did. She's like, why'd you do that? Why are you so crazy? Let's always bring instruments of overkill with us. Because overkill is awesome. Yeah, it's just too bad, but still grab a spare drum and a grenade because that's always fun. Yeah, grenades are fun. There we go. My colors. Hang your two. Yeah. Hang your two. And look, I went from basically no money to 100k in a very short amount of time. That's what the Torpedo Burrito Delivery Service is all about. Maximum customer satisfaction and big tips. So let's go uh, raid some bunkers and other things now. Let's go raid. <laughs> and then after we're done raiding, we need to deliver more burritos. And always remember, what happens at Grim Hex stays at Grim Hex. So don't take it personal. There we go. Yep. In a very short period of time. That is legitimately good money. And... Most importantly, I had fun while doing it. So that that is efficiency right there. I had fun and made money. All right, let's get a move on. For some reason, the game did not reload the missiles on my cutlass. I'll have to try it again next time I, uh... Okay. Usually this mission spawns in only two baddies. The real danger of SPK is other players trying to go there to uh, clear their crime stat. So you gotta be careful. Players are the real danger in this game. Killing NPCs in this game, it's like seal clubbing. Players 
is what brings the challenge and excitement to this game. All right. So, I need to remember to uh, reload the missiles on this ship as soon as I land at a major port. Now let's drop a ping scan. Don't want to get ambushed or surprised by other players. Yeah, I'm not a top tier PvPer. I'm just a beginner at that. But I've won as many as I've lost, so I'm making progress. And I'm getting a little bit better. But I still have a lot to learn. There we go. Let's raid this place. So let's drop the two unfortunate souls that are my mission targets. And then let's go raid this place for goodies. When you first start off and you've got like no money or nothing and you need to get some gear, come here. Walk around, look for loot boxes and just grab up all the guns and gear you can carry. Yeah. Oh, you will go boom a lot in this game. That's part of learning. I have lost count as to how many times I've gone boom. I'm gonna leave my engine running. So that way my shield is still up. And as always, close your door behind you. This place is also a PvP hot zone. So, make sure you uh, take the uh, measures to be prepared. This place is a massive kill zone. Yeah, this place is a huge kill zone for players versus players. So, be ready for anything. I've had so much random encounters here when I was just trying to have this place to myself and look for goodies. That's an NPC. One more NPC is to bring one more NPC to bring down. While I'm looking for that, I'm more concerned about players. They are far more deadly and devious. And you can still die just as quick. I'm gonna drop a medical rescue beacon. Just to see if anybody is willing to come and help. Otherwise. I'll just uh, try again. Okay, I'm going to wait here for about a minute or two. And if uh, nobody comes to save me... Yeah, apparently that one was. Man, that first one, I wasted them. Alright. Oh, he's running. Somebody else is in the area. By the way that NPC is behaving, another player is in the area. Yeah, he's taking cover from somebody. Yeah, that's me. I think that's a player. from this angle. Oh, that's a friendly. Holy crap! Somebody was like already here. You coming to rescue me? Thank you so much. Uh, I 
Yeah, where'd he go? Where'd he wander off to? Thought he was helping. Oh, gosh darn it. Hey, are you still here? gun you're pointing at me. I need the med gun, my good sir. Hello? Am I going to get helped or robbed? <laughs> hey, Scott. Got another player here. I think he's trying to figure out whether or not he wants to help or loot. I'm still alive. Can you help me out? Hey, I'm still alive. No, do that. Still alive. What is going on? Can you speak up? Ooh, my first pirate experience. Okie dokie. What's your uh, name? I can't hand over the credits because I can't use my uh, little Moby glass. Gonna go PvP. Controls are forked. I can't even uh, backspace or nothing. like I have a new target. <laughs> Whoever that is, I'll grab the mission. Let's make him go boom. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. 
let's see if somebody has got a crime stat. Nope, nothing. Okay, well. I still got paid for the mission. So, hey. Yep, I got paid for that mission, so. Let's see if there's a player bounty. Interesting. Nope. There is no player bounty available. So I don't have a means to track this guy down and by the time I get there, he will have looted and left. You know, you can't really be all that mad. Again, you can't take things personal in this game. Stuff happens. Oh well. Let's go resume giving those torpedo burritos, shall we? Let's go blow things up. Guy was uh, trying to pirate me, basically saying, hey, give me your money and I won't kill you. Well, joke's on him. Looks like the game kind of uh, twitched out I was going to die anyway. <laughs> oh well. Too bad I couldn't get a crime stat on him so I couldn't uh, take the mission to hunt him. That would have been fun. Oh well, let's go make the boom booms. I'm sure he'll slip off, slip up, and anger somebody. And I'll be able to grab that bounty on him. <laughs> get some delicious salt. I say you can't get mad when stuff like this happens. Again, as you see, SPK, basically everywhere in Crusader is like a PvPer's paradise. So, don't take anything personal. Alright, Hangar 2. Uh... Okay, I have overtime at work. I might be dead dog tired by that time. However, if I'm still up and wired at that point, I'll be more than happy to join you for the Orison event. <laughs> Burrito time. Extra spicy with the ghost peppers. You know, for making ghosts. All right, time for big booms. <laughs> you ever actually ate a ghost pepper? Man, that is unreal how spicy that is. Oh my gosh, that is an experience you do not forget. Oh, oh, I'm having flashbacks just thinking about it. Whew. I thought habaneros were bad. Oh, never again. Never again. Oh, man. Woo! Oh, my body is remembering that. Oh! <laughs> I feel a bit sick now. Woo! Yeah, the, the, the ghost pepper, that was... Uh, that was rough. That was definitely, uh, if you saw my face, that was meme worthy. Oh, truly meme worthy. Oh, and people are still duking it out at Grim Hex. <laughs> Alrighty. Little did that person know they were on the air. Uh, 
right, let's get to blasting. So I lost some gear. Bummer. Whew, yeah. Uh, light you up? That's a gentle way of putting it. Yeah, like the 4th of July. Oh. You know, I admire the dedication that the pirate players have to what they do. I'm not upset that the guy tried to pirate me. I am not upset by that at all. He now has my uh, machine gun, but I've got a spare one. And it's not like they're hard to find. Whew. All right. Full power to engines. All right. Slow approach till I have a clear lock on the target, then speed up and get out. Yeah, I think this is about good. Right about here. I think this is about the right altitude. All right. Let's wait for that clear target. No, nope, that's a warden. That's the Valk. Where's the hammerhead? There it is. All right, nice, slow, until I have the full lock. Now I speed up. All right, 4,000 meters, drop the torpedo. All right, full boost. Torpedo missed. Let's try it again. Powered shields. Powered engines. All right, I've got tone. Drop it at no closer than 5,000. We want to ensure the hit. There we go. Oh, wow. This one does not want to eat it. Okay. We got a stubborn customer. Are you a picky eater, sir? Is that your problem? You're just a picky eater. Mm. Yep, we got a picky eater. Yeah, it helps it, you know, slide through a little more easily. All right, let's go to a mining area. And let's get those torpedoes reloaded. Definitely won't be at a line, won't be there. Let's get that reload. Yeah, maybe that one's too spicy. I think he needs a little more easy, like salsa and that next burrito. All right.
also, I should get to Arc Corp and swap out these types of torpedoes for the uh, different kind of torpedoes that have a better lock. Alright. Yep, maybe. Alright. Hell yeah, look at that. How fascinating is that? Oh. There we go, let's try again. ships that can boom to. Alright. Bomb. Oh, I don't have the A2. That thing is a great bomber. You can drop a Moab with that thing. It's going to cost quite a bit of money to buy, too. That one's pricey. Oh, that's the Warden. That's the Valk. Where's the Hammerhead? There you are. Hello. Alrighty. Alright, you picky eater. Chow down. Flared it off. Eat your burritos. They're good for you. There we go.
Yeah, right now I have the default torpedoes. I need to buy the really nice expensive ones from uh, Area 18 because they are incredibly hard to break the lock. All right. There we go. Okay. You need fiber in your life. Eat the burrito. It's got lots of fiber. It's nutritious for you. What a picky eater. What an absolute nerve. Okay. Since I don't want to be staring into the sun the whole time on a, I'm on an approach. Yes. I prescribe to you a burrito for intestinal health. Plus, I've never seen a burrito or a taco and a frowny face in the same room. Have you? I know I haven't. Yes. All right. Where's the hammerhead? Such picky eaters. Good grief. So yeah, with the uh, money I've earned from this, I'll have to get the good torpedoes, the ones that are insanely hard to break the lock. All right. There we go. Full lock. All right, this one's a freebie. Bon appetit. Yeah, there you go. Get your daily dose, get your fiber intake. Let's go hit a basic bunker mission just so I can get some gear back. So provide backup. Let's go. I've got a pistol. I'm feeling kind of plucky. Let's do this. Okay, planet side. Don't harm allies. Man, I knew there was a catch to everything. Mostly just trying to get an armor set back and then when I get back to Grim Hex, buy a backpack. Maybe I'll find a good gun or two. All I'm carrying right now is a pistol with three magazines. And I'm out of burritos to deliver. Yes, it has a grenade launcher, and it's fun to use. Yes, this game has a personal grenade launcher and a charge-up railgun. <laughs> so a little pew-pew. Then I steal the pirate stuff. Yes, you can boom human. And it's fun. <laughs> and I've blown up a couple people with it, got some salt from it. It was so delicious. <laughs> got some salt from the global chat. <laughs> so 
What, you thought I was gonna fight fair? That's cute. <laughs> Honestly, games like this do need the pirate players. It needs the PvP aspect, and it needs the peaceful players just trying to do the industrial thing. You need players from all walks of life. This game can be very dynamic at times. It can also be a pain in the butt at times. <laughs> all right. Since this is provide backup, the good guys have control of the turrets in the area, so I can land wherever I want without any trouble. So, let's do that. And we'll just, uh, yep, I'll just uh, power down, hop out of the ship. I've got a pistol and an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> Next for my prescription is Freedom Pills. Uh, generally, you actually want to come in with a full kit, not just your flight suit and helmet and a measly little pistol. But, like I said, I'm here to have fun and do things that are stupid. Okay, nobody that way. Oh, that's one of my favorite SMGs. Oh, that's cool. Friendlies have a little arrow over them. That is actually really helpful. <laughs> All right, eight more unfortunate souls left to uh, Merc. Yeah, he ran that way. He's running into the good guys on that end. All right, I'll just take some cover. Oh, they got him. That's another one. <laughs> well, a good guy went down over there. Okay, we're going upstairs. Oh, just a tactical reload. Grab one of my favorite SMGs. I like this gun. I like this gun a lot, actually. There are guns that are objectively better than this one, but I like it. All right, they never check the server room. Always check the server room. Uh-huh. Always check back here. Number of times I've caught someone hiding back here. Oh, there we go. Machine gun. See? I got my machine gun back and it's empty. Okay. That's fine. Alright, he's engaging somebody. Alright, undercover. Cover. Use cover. <laughs> All right, there's supposedly one more baddie left. And then I can uh, loot and get myself a set of gear. I saw somebody stand up over there. I don't have a clear shot just yet. Uh huh. T for torch. Hello. There we go. That's a wrap. <gasps> oh, that's a friendly. Never mind. Okay, cool, cool. I'll get that. We loot. 
Oh, that's empty mag. Okay, let's get a set of armor. I will just loot one of the bad guys. There we go. I'll put that away before I accidentally kill a friendly. Don't want to do that. Okay, this is literally one of the best SMGs you can pick up in the game. It's called a P4AR. You can buy this in most places. It's just incredibly good quality for the amounts of money you spend to buy it. Incredibly good. Even better than this thing. And I love the Custodian. It's even better than the Custodian, and that is saying something. Now. Okay, that's a set of heavy armor. I saw a pirate with a heavy set there. I'll take his stuff. You? Just gonna help myself to your armor. Okay. So that in there. Okay, what is preventing me from equipping? Oh, that's what's preventing me. I should be able to quit. There we go. So, there we go. SM38. Now, let's see. What's he got? I will gladly take that. I love this gun. Such a nice gun. Okay, cool. This is a nice shotgun. Oh, look, he's self-cleaning. That's so nice. All right. Oh, excellent. He had, uh, he should have magazines for the gun I'm currently equipped with. Excellent. Oh, and I've got enough room in my inventory to stall away one more gun. So let's go find that machine gun that was dropped. And we can buy ammo for it later. Yep, there's one. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. There we go. Now I have two really nice guns. Nice. Got my pistol. Hello. Sweet. Okay. I've got an armor set back. Oh, that's true. Scott, thanks for the tip. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can open up individual components to look for additional goodies. So... Custodian's a great SMG. I like this. Okay, it's technically a rifle, but it's short. All right. All right. Uh, I think it's actually empty. Okay. Yep, oh, time for some music again. Okay, I checked for a loot box this way, I didn't find any. Let's just go around the room real quick. They 
don't nearly have as many loot boxes as they used to. Okay. Custodian with a fancy pants paint job. It's got a little uh, light on it. That's cool. Honestly, I don't use those extra things. I think I saw any loot boxes back here when I sweeped the area, or swept. Yeah, no, nothing. Okay, well, I got a machine gun. I got a really nice assault rifle. I'm happy. Here's a here's a basic loot box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, very nice. These are worth their weight in gold. So are these. Just need to grab a multi-tool to attach them to. You can always use a knife. I like that one. There we go. And then since I'm wearing heavy armor, I can grab a big backpack. All right. Okay, so these are technically a full-size rifle, not an SMG, even though they're small like one. This is an SMG, and these ones are really nice. Yes, there is a rocket launcher as well. Got grenade launcher, rocket launcher, railgun. I would love them to make a flamethrower. That would make my day. Alas, they don't have that yet. Because, yes, I would love to hold a barbecue. Okay. So my little baby right now is out of torpedoes. Try head to a nearby station to reload. There we go. Now, the amount of equipment I got is well over 20k worth of goodies. So, even though the mission did not pay very much, all the gear that I just picked up is worth well over 20k. That's a lot of money saved. I wish I would abuse that. <laughs> weapon so much. Uh, zero shame. I would be barbecuing people, singing song, campfire songs. All right, so let's get to a station to reload the missiles or torpedoes. Exactly, we can boom and cook. I would love that. Oh. I mean, this is the future. And we live in an empire, so I really doubt there's the Geneva Conventions. That's right. Not good at baking, but I'm good at frying things and roasting. Crusader. That's Port Olisar. That's where I want to go. Yes! I remember that. I did a video on that too. I even jumped in somebody else's stream and showed it off to them and gave them a good laugh. Now, Port Olisar was the first uh, spaceport put into the game. And just like Grim Hex, this too is a PvP playground. Consider all a crusader just to be a PvP or playground. So if you get into the game and you go into Crusader space, just consider the whole place a PvP zone. That's the best way to describe Crusader. Crusader is wild. 
I've had the most PvP instances in Crusader space, more so than everywhere else put together. Alright. Just trying to time it where I was slowing down a little closer to the pad. Oh well. I think this falls under the... Alrighty. The space police want to scan me. They want to scan my uh, cargo bay for contraband. <laughs> oh, funny. I have an empty bomb bay. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm free to go. I know. go. Let's bring the speed limiter down. Actually, you know what? I could actually buy a, a thick backpack here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's buy the backpack here. So, let's go reload the missiles. I'll go buy the backpack here at, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go buy a backpack. That's always a must. Let's go get the backpack. You know, like Dora the Explorer. Backpack, we need a talking backpack. And yes, we go boom. But I need to get a backpack to complete my kit. Okay, need a big backpack. For OSR, backpack, need a big backpack. I think this is the big one. Oh, that's the medium one. That's the little one. That's the big one. There we go, backpack. You know what? Since my machine gun is low on the ammunition count, I'll store it away for now. We'll have it later. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. had. <laughs> and you know what? Since I don't have a multi tool, I'll just keep one of each type of tool, and if I find a multi-tool, I'm, go I'm golden. Yes, there we go. Yeah, backpack. All right. Let's get back out there. So yeah, I just stored one of my extra machine guns at this port. Because if I uh, do another uh, bunker, those machine guns were very expensive to buy from the store. Even though I don't think they're sold in stores anymore, they're a nice find, so I don't want to lose it. The rest of the gear that I have on me are common items and are easy to find. Even though they're common items, they're of good quality. And yes, we go boom. Let's find a customer. ERT. There we go. Let's make someone go boom boom.
exactly have the line of sight on the location. Okay. engines. You need to swoop in, drop the payload, and get out. Okay, let's do this. until this weekend. Would you like to see me do some uh, ROC mining? Kind of show you guys how it's done. I'll grab that footage and make a shorter video. I'll do a live stream and then make a short video. I've got everything I need to do uh, ROC mining. And I can kind of show you how that activity is done. I still have a lot of good info. I wouldn't mind sharing. Okay. One more orbital marker to go to, and we can go to the target zone. There we go. Okay. Full powered engines. I want to go by as few asteroids as possible, and I have a good uh, egress. Once I hit the target, I want to get a good, uh... yeah, oh, yeah, he's on the other side of that really big asteroid. All right, let's change the angle. Let's try this angle. There we go. That should work. Oh, no, that's even worse. Go this way. There we go. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. We'll have a nice clear shot at him. It's a hurricane. I'm trying to hit any. A, uh, where is he? There it is, the hammerhead. Okay. Drop the torpedo when you're close so they have less reaction time to use their countermeasures. So, in this case, 4,000 meters and closer. Go. Another satisfied customer. It's time for me to get my bottom out of here. Got some hostile players in the area. But I tell you. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I went into an area and there were hostile players. And I got in and out of there quickly. zero yeah I have to get over to area 18 
since this eclipse is fresh off the assembly line. So yeah, that's actually the next place I'm going to uh, go shopping is I'm going to head back to Area 18 and get the uh, better torpedoes. I love the Seekers. Those are the best ones. Yeah, the uh, Argos are the default torpedoes that come with the Eclipse. They're good, but the Seeker 9s are better. Because you have to drop a lot of flares in order to get them to break lock. And when you fire it close, you can't react fast enough. And they're going to smash you. All right. So yeah, my uh, next shopping destination is Area 18 to buy the better torpedoes. For this ship, I also got a Retaliator. So whenever I feel like uh, doing some group play... No, nope, that's not my target. That's my target. I can tell. Good, got the full lock. Wait until your 4,000 meters are closer before dropping the torpedo. There we go. And boost out of there. Easy as that. And don't try to stay and fight the fighters. They will eat you alive. Alright, let's go to selling. Works for me. Exactly. Zoom and boom. Oh. Yes. Uh, Crusader at New Babbage. Uh, I haven't noticed it, but I kind of had tunnel vision last time I was there, so I don't know. This, my friends, actually. Speaking of Area 18, do I have enough fuel to get there? Yeah, I do. I can just go there right now. Let's go buy the missiles, the better, the better torpedoes. And let's get my uh, retaliator sent there so I can equip the good torpedoes on that one as well. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I guess this could be a good Q&A time if you have any questions. I don't know everything there is to know about this game. Honestly, this is good. Yep, that's right. And uh, like I was saying earlier, with real ghost peppers for creating ghosts. There we go. That'll be for my desktop. Actually, not so bad. I'll take that picture. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Warts and all. It is still an alpha. It has a lot of flaws and a lot of things that cause extreme frustration. Even as flawed as this game is, it has more detail and more potential for fun than most triple-A games out there. I love the uh, space combat. <laughs> uh, let, let, let's be honest, we joke about there's no such thing as bugs, only features, but the truth of the matter is this game has more bugs than Starship Troopers. See, I should be about halfway there. Yep, I'm almost at the halfway point. Nope, I am a third of the way there. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm a third of the way through my journey to Arcor. All right. So, when we get to Arc Corp, let's request all of my ships to be transferred there so I can put all the really nice missiles on them. Because Arc Corp has some of the best missiles in the game on sale. It has the best size 9 torpedo, which is the Seeker. Um, that thing is gnarly. It is the most expensive torpedo but it's also the most effective torpedo. So there you go. It's got a ludicrous payload and it's hard to break the lock on it. Um, then our corp has my favorite size two missiles. They're called uh, rattlers. They're missiles that break up into a whole bunch of small missiles and swarm on the target. Plus, they got my other favorite size 2 missile called the uh, Dominator, which are, they use electromagnetic for locking on the targets, which they're very hard to evade. Oh yeah, uh, this game, the whole dynamic of it changes when you are playing in a group of friends. Even two people working together is a completely different game. It's fun with one person, but it's a party with a party of people. It's, it's a riot. All right, now I'm two thirds of the way there. Let's get those really, really nice torpedoes mounted on this ship. And I'll show you around new uh, uh, area 18. Yes, you can. And it gets funner the bigger the group, the more shenanigans. I'm pretty decent solo. I've managed to cause a lot of havoc in this game solo, but it is more fun when you're with friends. That's a fact of this game. Absolutely, I like your math. I can confirm that that's scientifically accurate. Yes, it will. <laughs> this game melts most desktops. So yeah, all right. Let's see how much money I've got. Oh, I've got more than enough to buy all the missiles I need. So yeah, <laughs> I've got enough money to buy all the missiles I need to outfit all of my ships with the specific missiles I want. And our corp has at least my personal favorite missiles. I don't always go for like the meta. I just go for what makes me happy. Like there's a ship that is by the community considered an objectively bad ship, but I love that ship and I've used it in both PVE and PVP. It's called the Reliant Tana, and I will admit it is not the best ship it never will be, but it's just such a fun ship to fly. I like it. It's one of those stupid derpy ships that makes me happy. It really is a derpy ship, but I love it. Okay, one torpedo left. All right. Now, let's take a look. 
Oh, nice. The starport is dead ahead. Well, that just made it easy for me. Area 18 has the hardest starport to spot from the air, in my opinion. I personally struggle to find the starports in this area. Uh, some people love Area 18. They know the place like the back of their hand. This area and Lorville are the two locations that I'm least familiar with. But I can at least find my way around Area 18. I still struggle with Lorville. That place for me is hard to find my way around. I struggle. But I know Crusader space like the back of my hand. What do I mean by derpy? Kinda silly, goofy, useful and yet it's not that useful. But it's got a charm all of its own. Like, some people will respect you for flying the Tana, other people will straight up laugh at you. People either love or hate that ship with a deep passion. Yeah, feel free to look up the Reliant Tana on your own time, and you can judge for yourself whether you like it or not. If it ends up that you absolutely hate that ship, that's fine with me. Everybody has their tastes, and there's so much different uh, ships. There's something for everybody. Just fly what you love. Simple as that. I mean, yeah. It's funny, I've had people like laugh and insult the Tana, and I've killed them with the Tana. So, you know. But I will be the first to admit it is not the optimal ship for PvP. It just it, it just isn't. Plain and simple. And I don't care. It's fun. Uh, I heard they fixed that problem, but I haven't tested it out myself yet. Maybe I should test it out, see if it works. Supposedly, one of the hardcore uh, Tana fanboys told me that it was fixed, but I'm going to have to test that for myself. I don't know. I on this to goodness don't know. I'll have to test it out. But yes, I remember the uh, <laughs> bed logging days was literally the worst thing you can do in a Tana because then you'll wake up and you're trapped in your ship and you cannot get to the cockpit. All right. And it was so bad that I stopped trying altogether. Okay, let's go ahead and put her away. Calling all of her little friends. Yeah, now this game it's all about working on your personal skill and having fun, self-improvement, and just having a good time. There is more than just flying around, making things go boom and stabbing and shooting people. Or so I've been told. There's mining, there's cargo running. There is uh, economics in this game. I actually have one of the biggest uh, trading ships in the game. I have the uh, Caterpillar. And I love the personality on that ship. It's got spunk and character. Exactly. Just be happy. I mean, there will be people that will literally tell you how you should play this game. Unless they're teaching you actual skills that you can learn and apply for yourself. Do whatever the hell you want, and be happy. We have enough, I believe they're called form dads. People that tell you how you should think and how you should play a game. Tell those people to buzz off. They're annoying. Alright, so... Everything with missiles and torpedoes. Let's go ahead and get them sent in here. And let's get them outfitted. 
Oh yes, the Retaliator. Such a fun ship. I will tell you anything that I find useful that may help you with skills, but I'm not going to tell you what to do in the game. I'll invite you to join me in activities, if that's what you want to do. But I'm not going to tell you you have to do this or you have to do that. I'll tell you how to do things, and if you find that information to be useful, apply it. If you don't find the information to be useful at all, eh, carry on. You won't offend me if you say, hey, nah, I'm not going to use that info. I don't care. You do you. I like to make things go kaboom. I like to stab and shoot things. I am a squirrel of simple tastes. But I have done a lot of mining in the game, and I have done the trucking in the game. And believe it or not, those are surprisingly fun and rewarding activities. Because you have to do a lot of research. Here's my Tana. Let's see. Well, dying's part of the game, it's part of learning. And you can, I can always assist you in learning stuff. I'm not here to just blast people and mock them. I'm just here to have fun. Simple as that. I really don't overthink it. Oh, that's already got the missiles and guns I want on it. Uh, still, I should probably call it in. Like I said, be happy. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I'm pretty hard to offend. You have to put some real effort into it. Alright. Let's go shopping. Okay, I know that I have some spare missiles and torpedoes already laying around in the inventory here. So while I'm on the train ride, or tram. Let's start uh, outfitting stuff. Aegis Clips. I'm pretty sure I've got some of those nice torpedoes already available. Alright, the train is in motion. Okay. Up, oh, there we go. Unequip, unequip, unequip. Up, oh, I did buy enough seekers for both my. Uh... Nice, very nice. Say changes and equip. Sweet. Nomad. This is what people love to call the space truck. It's got that little bed like a pickup truck. Yeah, see? It's got a bed like a pickup truck. Oh, that's right. This is the one where you can't change its missiles. All right. What do we got here? Arriving at the station. <laughs> Look at this. A torpedo is in the uh, public transportation. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. So I've got the good torpedoes in my Eclipse now. Maybe next time I uh, open up a torpedo uh, 
burrito delivery service. If you ever get into the game, you can like ride shotgun in one of my turrets. And I need to find where the shipyard is. I think it's this one. Exactly. And I'll even share the prize money with ya. Because you'll be a new player and you'll need that nice starting money. And there's plenty of money to be uh, made between two players that it justifies the cost of using torpedoes. So you can just sit back and watch the fun, get in the Discord with me, chit chat, and I can answer your questions. Okay, so Astro Armada, Armada is one of the two places in the Stanton system where you purchase ships. And here's where you buy the missiles and parts. Let's go down the stairs. Okay. Let's get a move on, shall we? Okay. Okay. There's one kiosk, and there's the other kiosk. All right. Yeah, it totally will. <laughs> so, you don't have to get it right away. This game is still in development and will probably be in development for quite a long time. Ignite 2s. Oh no, we can do better than that. Unequip, unequip, rattlers, rattlers, unequip, unequip, rattlers. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that, honestly. And arresters are actually a. Uh, you know what? Those are actually really nice missiles. I like those ones. Yeah, and it's already got... It's already got the guns I want on it. Yeah. Oh, no it doesn't. It absolutely does not. I need... I need something with a little more bite than the Mantis. Alright, let's... See if they got another panther repeater. Repeater weapons. Ooh, I could always go with that. <laughs> That's a really fun ballistic cannon. Uh, honestly, yeah, that's... It is not gonna fit in my backpack. <laughs> so when you go to these kiosks, choose destination. Make sure it's the local area's uh, inventory and not your backpack. There we go. Okay. Now, the problem with ballistics, they run out of ammunition and really fast. But objectively speaking, this uh, ballistic cannon is far more lethal than the Gatling gun, and it has around the same amount of ammunition count. It has a slower rate of fire, but it's got the same projectile speed, if not slightly faster, with a lot more alpha damage and penetration. It's a lot more armor piercing. So you best believe I'm going to put that on. Now, when I get another uh, laser repeater, I'll probably swap it out with that. Saber. All right. Oh, there we go. So these are for size.
Okay. What kind of missiles in size three do they have that I like? Vehicle weapons. Missiles. Size three, huh? Really? Not much. Okay. I love those Rattlers. So let's see what size those missile mounts are on my Sabre. So I can buy the uh, mounts that carry size two missiles. Okay. So size four, size four. Okay, size four missile rack. I need to buy a size four missile rack that carries size two missiles. So, size four, no, nope. size, size four, size four, nope, those are size ones. There we go, let us buy, oh yeah. Again, area 18, size twos, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, to uh, initially equip them you do. And then it's cost of reloads. All right, so now let's go to my uh, saber. My saber doesn't have guns on it yet. I have to buy the guns somewhere else, but let's get the uh, missile racks. Yep. There we go. Rattlers. Save and equip. Now this location doesn't have the guns that I want for my uh, saber. So let's go ahead and pick another ship. Let's see if this is equipped the way that I want it. Yep, I'm happy with the loadout on that. Not happy with the guns. Ignite twos. Flame. We can do better than that. Let's get some Rattlers on it. But Dominators are great missiles. I like the Dominators a lot. So Rattler 2s and Dominator 2s are my favorites. So yeah, I will definitely go with that loadout. That makes me happy. I do need to swap out the guns for better guns. Okay, Hornet. Okay, got Dominators. Marksmen's are actually pretty decent. No, I'm happy with the loadout on that. I'm happy with that. All right, my buck. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that for my Hornet. Ignite, ignite, ignite. Eh. No. We can do better than that. I say Dominator 2s and Rattlers are my top favorites. Okay. I need to buy some more uh, Rattlers. Okay. Let's buy some more Rattlers.
Oh, come on. What is it with this that wants to put everything in my backpack? I'm not a pack mule in this world. That'll do. All right. Okay. Now. Buccaneer. Buccaneer. There we go. Rattler. Rattler. Yeah. Staring at my backpack. Alright, my cutty. Yeah. All of my, uh, I'm keeping the arresters because those things hit incredibly hard. But I'm gonna swap out all my size two missiles for rattlers. This is just my personal preference. This is not the uh, meta or optimal loadout. It's just, just simply what I like. They are better missiles than what I'm using but I believe in using what you love and having fun. There are objectively better missiles than this, but I'm here for the fun factor. Good. Yep, rattlers and arresters. I am happy with that loadout. There we go. And the Tana. Did I fully load out the missiles on that? Yeah, I did, but she doesn't have any guns on her yet. Okay. What about you? Strike Force 2s? No. Those are pathetic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, for some reason, I've got this sneaky suspicion that I didn't do this right. Yep, 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 yep. Rattlers, rattlers. Under the eye. Rattler, rattler. Good. All right. There we go. Another really fun. Okay. So here's here's the tricky part about this ship. Honestly, those dominators, because it's electromagnetic, those are very hard to evade. And these individually have a lot of damage and punch to them. So honestly, the way that it comes is just right. Two size ones, yeah, whatever. Okay, did I outfit my Aurora? Uh huh. Mantis. Ignite, ignite. Boo. That's, that's weak sauce. We can do better. Rattler. Rattler. And a couple. Perfect. That one's perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now. Retaliator isn't quite here. Neither is the Redeemer. But what size missiles? Oh, okay. Looks like I'm going to buy a few more uh, rattlers. Yep, I'm going to buy some more rattlers. It's all torpedoes with this one. Okay. Cool. Let's buy some more rattlers. And then wait for the last two ships to get here. Why does this want to put everything in my backpack? That is ridiculous. All right. Rattlers. 
Oh, it's got some of these here. That's... All right. Let's go to vehicle weapons and missiles. Let's just, there we go. Honestly, yeah, let's buy the 12 more of those. Okay, there we go. And now, <laughs> now that I've got all the missiles I want, I can start heading back. And I can equip the missiles on my ships from here while I make the return journey to the starport. And I could probably go uh, somewhere else. Hmm, actually, got all the parts I want as far as missiles go, but I do need to get better interior components for my ships and the guns. So I could probably buy a couple of those right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, systems. The first thing you want is power plants and coolers because that builds the foundation of what you can and cannot put on your ship. And I saw they had a JS-400. Yes. I'm going to get that for my cutlass. Again, it wants to just shove everything in my backpack. What is up with that? It just loves my backpack. Okay, now coolers. I need two of them. I think they're called Avalanche is what I'm looking for. That's the really good one. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I'm looking for an Avalanche. Size 2 military. Oh well, I'll just go ahead and put that uh, new cooler on my uh, cutlass. All right, Drake Cuddy D. I already have. Uh, okay, I already have a. Yeah. Stop trying to shove everything in my backpack, you weirdo. Okay. Systems. Let's move to coolers at least. Frost star, that's not what I'm looking for. No, nothing in the size that I'm looking for. Okay, well, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, catch the train on out of here. And I'll just save that power plant for when I buy the uh, hurricane. Because you buy the hurricane at this location. And I'll just put it on as soon as I buy it. And I'll at least have the uh, nice power plant right off the bat. And the music died. Okay. So let's take the train back. this way.
let's see, my character is 75% hydrated. She's doing pretty good on food. 96% on food. So she's doing pretty good. My pilot is pretty happy. All right, let's board that uh, tram. Let's see how long until it gets here. About 10 seconds, okay. Ah, there it is, right there. I wonder if it still has the torpedo inside it. That would be funny. And always be polite. Get out of the way, let people exit. Alrighty. Alright. So. While this is in motion, let's... How much time until it's here? I need to reload the missiles on these two ships and torpedoes. All right, once I get to the, uh, the starport, I'll check on their status. Actually, the retaliator can go quite the distance. What I now need for my other ships are guns, and then I'll buy all their fancy uh, systems from Orison. That one has everything grade A military, so it has what I need at Orison. So my next stop for ship shopping will be uh, Microtech. Plus they've got missions that you can knock out very quickly and earn 20k per mission. And you can use just about any ship in the game to knock those uh, missions out. So I guess my next stop is Microtech to grind for the money to put the guns on the remainder of my ship. And then I head back to Orison to get all the really nice parts on my ship. And then from there I save up for three very specific ships and then improve those. And That'll give me kind of all the ships I want for the remainder of the patch. And then I can just work on uh, improving my skills as a pilot and just, get, and just getting into general fun and shenanigans. I might get an A2. That would be the extra ship outside of the personal list I have for myself. Because I like to drop the Moab and I like tanks. All right, how much time is left on the... Uh, Redeemer and the Retaliator. Oh boy, it's kind of borked. Let's use a different one. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Okay, let's see. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. I'll just walk around here just for three minutes. And we'll pick a ship and go. Okay, so VIP lounge. This is for you insane asylum people who actually spent ludicrous amounts of money in real life on this game. I am happy to say that I'm nowhere near that much, but I have spent quite a bit. So, yeah. Let's take a look. And this is the uh, ship rentals. Just seeing what they have. Okay, something you need to know about the RSA Constellation Andromeda. This is literally one of the best of the best all-rounder ships. Whether if you're going solo or you have a group. It takes four people to use this ship to its fullest potential but the pilot has missile control and four very heavy guns under his control. This is an extremely good ship. This one should be a goal ship for most people. You can do a lot of activities with this ship here. So take a personal note, RSI Constellation Andromeda 
This is one of the best jack of all trades. Okay. So I'll just walk around the room. You know the old saying, a watched pot never boils. So now look at these little stands. That's just silly. Wow. Okay, I like their guns and ammo magazine. That's awesome. See, there's a bunch of small details in this game that you could miss. You know what? Yeah, I'll buy one of those. Why not? Okay. Let's hydrate energy drink. There we go. There you go. She looks a little more happy. Okay, let's get the missiles loaded out. And you know what, we'll take the retaliator out for a spin so you can see the big bomber. Let's unequip all these strength force missiles because those are a joke. Perfect. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now the retaliator. Let's give it the good, good torpedoes. Agros are okay, but there's better than just okay. On the clip. Seekers, you gotta love these. These, this is the good stuff. All right, unequip, unequip. Seekers, bam. All right, let's take the bomber out to Microtech. And that's where I will pick up in my next stream but I will show you around. Retaliator, I think. All right, Hangar 7. We'll go to Microtech. And then call in all my other ships there because they all need to have the good guns put on them and Microtech has very good guns. And good missions. Seven, that's right. And uh, this ship is huge. Now the pilot has no control to the guns, 
just to the torpedoes. Alright, let's check how much money I have. Yep, I'm going to have to do some serious grinding. If I want to get all the uh, good guns on the ships right away, I'm gonna, I've got a lot of grinding to do. So, this is a bomber. So, the Eclipse carries three of those size 9 torpedoes. This carries double the amount. Six of them. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, airlock for EVA. The two elevators get you in and out of the ship. Rooms, bathroom, and turret access this way. And this is to, I think, the front of the ship this way. Nope, bathroom. This is the bathroom. This must get to the front of the ship. You see, there it is. Four size nine freaking torpedoes. It's gonna leave the mark. Here's the pilot's chair. All right. Let's take this bad boy to Microtech. Power up. And let's plot a course. I'll go ahead and land at Microtech. There we go. And then I'm going to call in all of my other ships to Microtech. That's where I'm going to call it a day. So yeah, this, this ship is Humongo. out a bit. Let's get a move on. Yeah, this is a ship you want to bring friends with. There are four turrets and a pilot's chair. And this thing is incredibly tanky. Yeah, exactly zero. This thing is a flying fortress. Alright, so I'm going to head to Microtech, call in all of my ships there, and that's where I'll end the stream. I think we gave a lot of burrito deliveries, and next time I play, I'm going to show you the activities around Microtech you can do at any reputation level and make stupid amounts of money. So you can even do it in your starter ship. You can make 100k or more per hour easily in a crappy starter ship. I will show you the activity next time I uh, get online. And it's stuff you can do right off the bat. As long as your ship has two or more guns, you can stack these missions and make bank. So yeah, feel free to just enjoy the music, enjoy the sights. That's all that's left on my agenda for today. Travel to Microtech, land, call in all of my uh, ships so I can finally put the guns on the ships that I want while I grind out certain missions. That's, that's it. So feel free to watch. I'll try to use as much pretty scenery as I travel. Yeah, and a ship. <clears throat> yep.
in atmosphere. Hmm. <coughs> I'm pulling a speed of I'm pulling a speed of 941 in atmosphere in this ship. This ship is surprisingly fast for what it is. I think this is like inspired by the World War II bombers. The Strato the Stratos Fortress. I wanna say they were called not the B-52 because that's something else. Ugh. I'm trying to remember what they were called. All right. But yeah, this is a ship you can definitely bring friends with. And away we go. Now, let's get Microtech in sight. Six Seekers. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Now this ship does... Yeah, uh, B1. I'm not sure if that is right. Gonna have to look it up. There was an, also an old film called Memphis Bell. Great World War II movie. Here we go. And since this is a larger ship, it by default has a much faster quantum drive and a very large fuel tank. So I can cross the system no problem in this ship without making any pit stops. Yeah, I mean, let's just take a look. Here's the undercarriage. Oh, yeah, I had my uh, missiles armed and ready, so you see how they're just outside the bomb base? They're ready to fire at a moment's notice. So, yeah, there's two bomb bays. If you can see where the uh, torpedoes are, that's the two bomb bays. One of them holds four torpedoes. The other one holds two. And, yeah, this thing, this thing slaps. So this is just a nice looking all-rounder. And look at this. Uh, let's look on the map. I'm almost at the halfway point. And I just started. I'm definitely past the third of the way there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, look that up. So yeah, see, ah, uh, see about a third of the way there, coming up on the halfway point to my destination. So yeah, this thing can cross the system very quickly. I like it. But yeah, so next time I go live, I'll probably be using more simple ships. And I'll be uh, showing you the activities you can do in Microtech to make stupid amounts of money, even though you're in a starter ship. Microtech is one of the best places you can go to if the only thing you have is a starter ship. There's a lot of opportunity to make stupid amounts of money with a starter. The same is true of Crusader, but I hope I've uh, emphasized the point that Crusader is a major PvP playground, so be ready for trouble if you go to Crusader. Alright, 22 million KM out, and dropping. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, I'll land, call in all of my ships, and that's where I will log out.
I hope you guys have had as much fun watching me play as I've had playing. But this is where I've got to call it a night. And as you can hear in the background, my dogs need to get their legs out and stretch, so I need to go around the block a couple times to make them happy. So I got to be a good dog owner and take good care of them. Yes. Isn't that right? Don't worry, we'll be doing stuff here real soon, my little fluffy friend. I'm getting the stink eye, because now the weather outside is very nice. It's optimal for a walk. So I better uh, take care of them, make them happy. All right, there we go. Now we wait for the cool down and get ready to head to New Babbage. All right. All right, New Babbage, there you are. So yeah, next time I get on, it will not be until the weekend though. I currently have some personal affairs I need to take care of, as well as overtime at work. So I probably won't be on Star Citizen until the weekend. Now, uh, if Scotty B is still here, I might be able to hop on game with you tomorrow for a short period of time to take care of the events at Crusader, but I can't promise anything. But I am armed and ready for that event. I've got heavy armor, got a nice gun, got some med pens and food, so I'm ready to rumble. All right. Now this time you definitely wanna slow your speed limiter down. Up and down on the mouse wheel. If you look on the left side of my screen, I'm scrolling something up and down. That's the speed limiter. You wanna bring it down to where the red meets blue when you're trying to land so you don't overshoot and crash. Because it's very easy to do. All right. There's another player dead ahead. He's in a Pisces. Space Chef Weapon. You know what? Who am I to judge what people pick for their names? I'm Squirrel Lord, so get no judgments from me. Okay. Let's request landing. There we go. All right. Oh, I see the door. Oh. They want me to go into that bay? That's a bit of a tight squeeze for this big ship. Okay, uh, we can try. That's, that's a big tight. All right, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. I don't normally fly those bigger ships, so. Normally the biggest thing I fly is a cutlass. But alright, let's do it. 
Let's do it. Alright. Okay. Landing gear down. Yeah, definitely fold those wings in. They actually get quite wide. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, not as bad as I thought it would be. My ship is in one piece. That's good. Yeah. All right. So, oh, that bunk cost me 10 AUEC. Oh, the fuel was actually really cheap, unlike the real world. <sighs> anyway. Sweet. Okay. She's powered down. There we go. Yeah. All right. So, look at the size of these torpedoes. There's four of them in this bay, and there's two in the other bay. Let's go take a look at the other bay real quick. All right, here. Total of six freaking ginormous torpedoes and there's the rear turret one number two there's a bottom turret and the top turret okay this is how you exit the ship and always close behind you okay there we go Yeah, that's why you need to put the best power source on it so you can put the extra thrust into the engines. All right. So the last activity is to call all of my other ships to this location, and I will log out at that point. And yeah, I can show you how to make stupid amounts of money with a starter ship next time I get on. All right, let's store this ship, though. Retaliator, let's store. Store. All right, let's start calling them in. last activity for the day but next time I get on it will be during the weekend and I will show you how to make stupid amounts of money in this area stupid amounts of money and you don't need a lot of rep I, I've done some of those in the past you have to read the fine print because one important detail you need to read is the distance from wherever you are. That'll help you determine whether or not it's worth it. Because if you're not careful, you can be sent all over creation. And that's just a pain in the butt. So yeah, that's one of those things where you read the fine print. thing to do. The 
service beacons can be fun. So just read the fine print. Let's go over to the ground vehicle terminal real quick. Okay. Let's get that sent here too. The 85X is just a fun little ship to have. Okay, let's just make sure everything. Yep. Alright, I'll show you where the ground vehicle terminal is in Microtech up this little stairs up this way and this is for the ground vehicles everything I own. Perfect. So next time I log in, I'll be here. All of my stuff will be here. Perfect. As always, thank you very much for coming in, dropping by, and until next time, happy gaming everyone.